Hi, I'm Tom Clarkson, and I want to show you basics of how to use a potter's wheel. And before I show you how to throw a pot, I want to talk a little bit about how to set up the wheel properly. First of all, it has an on-off switch right here, and a gas pedal, cruise control, and you need a number of different things before you start. One, you need a splash pan. That's from keeping your mess from going everywhere. The splash pan has a big and a small part. The big part has a flange that fits underneath the wheel. And the small part has these two holes to clip over right here. And that contains your mess. When you're done, there are two thumb pieces right here. And you can take the small one off and the big one off. And all this mess gets dumped in the buckets and not down the sink. You also need to throw on a bat. The wheel head has two bat pins and they fit into appropriate holes on the bats. Don't throw right on the wheel head, you'll hurt your hand on the bat pins. You'll need a bucket of water. You'll need a cutoff wire, a sponge, needle tool, and a throwing knife. And you want a number, probably four to six balls of fresh clay. Please use fresh clay and not used clay. About a pound and a half. All right. Throwing the cylinder. Dampen the wheel head. Smack that clay down. Water is your lubrication. Nice and slippery. Left hand braced in so your elbow is in against your hip. Pushing with your left hand, pulling with your right hand. Until the clay disappears in your hands and there's no visible wobble. Make sure the clay is centered before you do anything else. Centered, no wobble, ready to open. Push my left thumb down with my right hand. Establishes the bottom thickness. Check it with your needle tool. About a quarter of an inch. Define the bottom. Left hand cupped around, right hand inside using the tips of your fingers. Pull that clay right straight back towards you. Nice steady motion. And stop when you get to the diameter you want. Ease your hands away. Sponge is going to compress and smooth out the bottom. Now we're ready to start raising the wall. Left fingers inside, left thumb outside, sponge right there above my left thumb. And I'm going to squeeze and I'm going to lock my fingers and I'm going to lift all the way to the top. Don't keep squeezing when you come up. Again, water's your lubrication. Squeeze, lean forward so my nose is over the center, and just lift that clay right straight up. Stop before you get to the top. Keep that top lip compressed. Make sure you keep the water out of the bottom. I'm going to get down and squeeze again. This finger takes the place of my thumb. So I'm squeezing the clay between these two fingers. Squeeze, lock, and lift. Nice and slow, all the way to the top. Compress the top. And get down the bottom and do that again. Get to breathe. And the last thing I'm going to do with my fingers flat inside and my sponge opposite, I just want to sh throw a nice straight cylinder. I'm going to use my throwing knife, hold it like a pencil, cutting edge down, both hands together. Start right here, 
push the point right down to the bat. Undercut. I'm going to remove the extra clay. And what you need to learn to do before you're allowed to keep any pots is to throw a cylinder with an even wall thickness. When you're done, the clay is yours to re-wedge and dry out. Bats need cleaned. Splash pan needs cleaned. Throwing bucket needs cleaned. And please put any scrap clay in buckets rather than down the drain. And the wheel washed off. And have fun.